national framework for political parties and their primaries. The problem is the parties lack internal democracy. And because they do, then you have godfathers. You have the godfathers who determine the fate of Lagos, Imo, Abia, Anambra, and whatever other state you have. So my take is we need to impose democracy on the parties. So we need to define for them legal frameworks for organizing their primaries. So that would need to be in the constitution. You can see that APC decided to adopt either the uh, indirect or direct. There should be no scope for that. It should be direct primaries. People should feel free to participate in electing the pe people who will go forward to the elections. So that's what I mean by the need for a direct process, not controlled by the Godfathers, and it will be determined by a legal framework in the Electoral Act. Have political parties become marriages of convenience just to win elections at all costs in Nigeria? Yeah. They're, not, they're not political parties. The reason you have political parties is because there's a constant requirement that if you needed to be a politician, you need to be in a party. But clearly, if you see how they've been jumping from one party to the other, it's clear to you that there's, there are no political parties with ideologies. So it's a, it's a marriage of convenience. People look for the most convenient opportunity, and they join and align with that party. Uh, they, it'll, be, it'll be fair to say that you allow the parties to determine the process of selecting or electing direct consensus or by... Uh, by indirect. But unfortunately, you're dealing with people who are less than animals. So you've got to create strong legal frameworks. Look at all the confusion everywhere. Look at the confusion in Emo. Two results. The chairman of the, the party, APC, says it's fake. Both of them. Look at Lagos. They've announced it now, but it was initially said to be inconclusive. Look at the elections in uh, Oshun State. Inconclusive. So where you have a group of undisciplined politicians, you need strong rules. So I think that one way to go to make the parties accountable is to prescribe direct primaries. Does the court weigh in by adjudicating at the event that there are or there is evidence of disenfranchisement of perhaps um, voters where there is a direct primary taking place? Well, that's part of the problem. And that's not what we want. It, it, I mean, at the end of the day, let's not forget that 20 million Nigerians who live in Lagos, who call themselves Lagosians, are looking for the best person to be their governor. That's what we want. We want the best guy. My point is that the present process doesn't allow the best guy to come forward. So we need to impose it. It should be an issue that Nigerians should advocate for. Having seen what happened in 2018, the next election cycle in 2023 should be determined by people participation at the fullest level. If you don't have a database to organize your party, here's where I'm, what I'm saying, that the electoral law, the constitution, needs to impose a tough legal framework. If a party can't organize a database, if a party can't organize a simple election to pick a Guba candidate, then it's not a party. So such, such a party should be prescribed, in my view. There was a time that parties pretended to have elections or primaries. They wrote the results at home. For instance, Celestina Mayor here, River State, didn't take part in the primaries. What happened? Amechi took part, they removed his name, and put in um, Celestin Omer here. It took the Supreme Court to reverse the injustice, and Amechi went forward and became governor. That led to amending the Electoral Act and introducing Section 32. So what has happened in the last 20-something years is, as we discover the inadequacies in the system, the electoral law is amended to take care of it. So the new one now is what is the process of holding primary election? I would hope to see the next amendment will deal with all the chaos you see around Nigeria. 
can political parties at this stage, the way things are, I mean, it's like a primaries week uh, for different political parties in Nigeria, if they feel disenfranchised, can either political party, the candidates now, yeah, yeah, go to court? Why not? Yeah. He can allege failure to observe the process. Whether he will succeed is a different question, but yeah, he has a legitimate basis to go to court to challenge it. Now, the only way to eliminate a challenge is to make it is to democratize the process to make clear these are the rules and that the parties don't have a choice what they select tell us about the revelations of fraud or perhaps questioning someone's mental capacity uh, and this is in the process of selecting a candidate to represent um, you know a political party now when that happens one candidate accusing another what should happen next? What should happen is ought to be investigated. We are the ones that he will potentially come into govern that should be concerned. But nobody said a word. The people of the state. The people of the state, nobody said a word. Nobody said a word in the context of the power brokers. What I, what I would encourage is for people to take advantage of the disarray. So there are, many, there are 91 parties, don't forget. It's true that the PDP and the APC are the dominant ones, but you never know. You never know what will happen if somebody popular should emerge.